Hey, it's Sean with Kiwi. Just wanted to bring your attention to a common hazard with these right now our trailers with the J-hook tracks in them. If you're not careful about securing your excess chain that's not under tension, the chain laying on the deck of the trailer can actually work its way down into the J-hook tracks. Over at the edge of the trailer, it can only get in to about a 45 degree angle and that's relatively easy to get out of there if you just push the links together and start working with the, with the, cord, the edge link you can usually work those out of there pretty easily. The track that's next to the frame rail of the trailer is shaped a bit differently so J hooks can be put in from both ways and in that track it's actually possible for a link of chain to get completely down crossways let me see if I can work this one in there that link of chain is completely down crossways in the bottom of that track we'll ensure to insert a photo here in order to get that one out you have to work carefully with the links on both side of, of that one that's down in the bottom of the track and that link that's in the bottom of the track has to get over to a 45 degree angle and then it will just barely slip past the corner so if that track has any dirt in it be sure you slide those links to one way and clean that track out and then slide it back to the the clean area and then you can work with that link to get that up out of there and once you get it to pop around the corner then it'll come out just like the ones at the edge of the trailer so when you're loading the loads and securing your chains, especially on the back half of the trailer because there's so much vibration back here, be sure you wrap those chains up really tight and secure them with a bungee so you don't have this problem.